This past year has been full of unexpected challenges. Life has been uncertain and ever-changing. People everywhere have been look, finding new ways to continue living life. They created their way to leave a legacy. Throughout history, people have been fighting against the current to go their own way towards success. Muhammad Ali is considered one of the greatest role models in sports because he continued to fight for what he believed in. At the height of his career, he made the decision to give up everything and continue to fight for what he believed in. Will the crowd limit you or will it challenge you to go your own way? One FFA chapter that has created their legacy is the Iroquois FFA chapter when they won the Agricultural Issues Forum Leadership Development Event in only their second year as an FFA chapter. They went their own way by putting in hours of work to discuss the Beyond Meats agricultural issue. The dual FFA chapter created their legacy when they led the Pledge of Allegiance at the 93rd National FFA Convention. They went their own way to unify FFA members across the nation. Woo! Callan Kafka from the Wagner FFA chapter has paved his own way in FFA. By striving for the top in veterinary science, Callan has gone above and beyond in his chosen career development event. Even with the changing circumstances of last year, he found the time to research veterinary science and push for excellence. Callan is a great reminder of how as FFA members, we go our own way. South Dakota FFA members are doing things our own way. Newell FFA and McCook Central FFA member Kaylee each forged a legacy. Kaylee left her legacy through her innovative agri-science research projects. Not only did she do countless newspaper and radio interviews, but she brought awareness to mental health disorders in production agriculture. Blaze left his legacy through advocating for agriculture at events like Rodeo Rapid City. He shared his love of sheep and the facts about the agricultural industry. South Dakota FFA members everywhere are leaving a legacy. This past year has been a year full of taking chances. With so many uncertainties, FFA members had to take a chance on the year. Blake Vollmer from the Winner FFA chapter took a chance and competed in the Agricultural Broadcasting Leadership Development event for the first time ever. His chance paid off when he placed first in the Agricultural Broadcasting event. FFA members, it is time to take a chance to go our own way and leave our legacies. In this crazy world that we live in, people everywhere have been thinking outside of the box to continue living life. Whether it was learning how to compete on a, in a leadership development event on Zoom or hold a COVID-friendly chapter event, through changes and uncertainties, lockdowns and social distancing, chapters everywhere have been meeting these challenges head on. What have you done to make the most out of your year? What will you do to leave a legacy? South Dakota FFA, no matter what's happened this last year, let's take these next few days to celebrate how we all pursue our way and forge your legacy.
to the river, but now we got to keep on going. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's cold. Yeah. These guys sleeping. Guys, we made it. Jackson, where are we? Rapid City. This Jackson. is not rapid. Is, is that Mount Rushmore? No, Rushmore. Oh my God, can we please go see it? Yeah. Go. FFA members, advisors, and guests, for the first time in over two years, let's get on your feet and let's get excited for your 2020 2021 State Officer Team. Your state FFA Sentinel from the winner FFA chapter, Ryder Martinson. Your state FFA reporter from Dolan, Derby Bowick. Your state treasurer from Duel, Elizabeth DeBoer. Your state secretary from Gettysburg, Hunter ID. Your state vice president from Millbank, Jackson McFadden. And your state president from Northwestern Area FFA, 
Samantha Olsen! The convention hall will come to order. We are now holding the state degree ceremony of the 93rd South Dakota FFA State Convention. Mr. Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they are at their stations, and report back to you, Madam President, the Sentinel. Stationed by the door. Your duties there. Through this door pass many friends of the FFA. It is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to the Virgin Islands, and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there. I keep a record of receipts and disbursements just as Washington kept his farm accounts, carefully and accurately. I encourage thrift among the members and strive to build up our financial standing through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The secretary. Stationed by the ear of corn. Your duty, <laughs> your duty's there. I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries. Wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. The advisor. For the last time, here by the owl. Why stationed by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I'm asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice will always be based on true knowledge and ripened with wisdom. Mr. Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? 
the plow is the symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over our president. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is a token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Madam President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The secretary will call the roll of members. There are 1,680 members and guests present, Madam President. Thank you. FFA members, why are we here? responsibilities and the qualities of leadership, leadership. which an FFA, FFA membership, membership possess. <laughs> May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare the state degree ceremony of the 93rd South Dakota FFA State Convention duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. Will chapters receiving state degrees beginning with the letters A through L please report backstage. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer, forged over decades, built by conquering the unsurmountable, and brought together by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today at a Ford dealership. Discover Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. to the state degree ceremony. We are so excited to be hosting state convention in Rapid City for the first time ever. Let's go. <laughs> this year has looked different than most. However, we have the opportunity to take a different approach. We are taking you our way to create your legacy. <laughs> All right, so when you found out last year's state convention was going to be virtual, who here was a little disappointed? <laughs> How many of us thought that we would never get back to an in-person event? Okay, okay, but how many of us are excited to be here tonight? Yeah. Woo! Well, guess what? We're just as excited as you to be here in person and to be seeing our upperclassmen leave their legacy and earn their state degrees and scholarships. Woo! All right. You ready? Let's do this. Hey, what are you doing? You said serve it. No, serve this. Service? Come stop by at the North Corridor of the Kurstad Event Center from 9 to 3 to help with the service project. Even though we are in person, we would like to thank Monument Health and Connect Center TV for, as a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation for sponsoring the broadcast and live stream of convention. Joining us tonight is the Mayor of Rapid City to bring a few words of greeting. Please help me in welcoming Mayor Steve Allender. Well, good evening, everyone. 
Thanks for being here. It's a good night. It's a good night to be in Rapid City. And I have to tell you, people like me, government officials, people like me with gray hair, we spend a little bit of time worrying about the future. We plan for the future. We try to find workers to help us create the future. And there are a number of roadblocks. You know, in government, we generally deal in solving problems, not just celebrating victories. So sometimes I get a bad attitude. And um, I got to tell you, though, tonight, just after watching the uh, opening session so far, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I would like to go out outside of these doors and get a couple thousand more people and come in here and have them join you so that they can learn uh, how to be excited about something. This is about not only your future as leaders, your future, you're all very young people with your whole lives in front of you. It's not just about your future. It's about America's future. And it starts with you. And it starts with your hometown and your home county and your home state. And it grows into a national treasure. And uh, that's what you're here for. If you're, if you're this far along in this program, I just want to commend you for having vision and being committed. Uh, for every one of you, I swear there's 10 other young people out there who have no idea where they're going. So it's very encouraging to, uh, to be here with you tonight. So thank you for being here for the 93rd FFA convention. And you know what I always say? 92 years in one location is long enough. <laughs> I'm especially proud uh, that you're here tonight uh, in Rapid City. I do want to apologize, however, for the wind today and tomorrow. But this is uh, Rapid City, according to the National Weather Service, the least predictable weather in the nation. So if you know a weather forecaster, well, never mind, nobody knows a weather forecaster. So I understand the reason you're being here is primarily due to the, to the restrictions on in-person meetings. But whatever the case, I'm here to say welcome to West River and welcome to the Black Hills and welcome to Rapid City. Rapid City is known for our tourism. We've been hosting visitors since the late, late 1800s. You know, in the 1870s, gold was discovered in this, uh, this general location, and people flocked to this area to get rich. And a total of about 900 people settled in this area that's now Rapid City except they found out that the gold wasn't here. It was way, way over there, 25 or so miles away in Leed and the, the Leed and Deadwood area. So rather than leave this great piece of real estate, this great location at the foothills of the Black Hills, they decided, well, the, the miners are going to need a place to relax. The miners are going to need a place to get supplies, to buy axes and shovels and other tools and to rest and have a place to stay and to get away from the mine. And that's when Rapid City was born. Rapid City was born a visitor's destination. So we're still doing that today. Uh, we're still not making, we're still not getting rich from gold, but we're still uh, doing what we're doing. We all still know that South Dakota's number one industry is agriculture. Our state and nation depend heavily on agriculture and ag production and all of the support services. And when people, I know, and I'm no, I'm no rancher, I'm a city kid, but I know that when people talk about agriculture, they think about a cow or a pig or a crop or something of that na uh, nature, but there's really so much more to it, as you know. It's not only the people doing the work, it's all the support systems that have to enable the people to do the work. Uh, the electricians and mechanics and the, uh, the, the uh, farmers and the ranchers and the foresters and everyone. 
So I'm just telling you that ag production and all those support services necessary are extremely important. And sometimes in our nation, if you spend too much time watching the news, you'll get discouraged and you won't realize that there's a lot to be thankful for. But I'm telling you there is. There's a lot to be thankful for and a lot to look forward to. And it's people just like you in this room that are going to make the difference. The FA, FFA is an important part of the business and lifestyle of agriculture. So whether you ultimately end up in farming, banking, developing ag technology, or any other related field, your contribution is desperately needed. We're glad to have you this week. Thank you for coming, and thank you for being involved. And I hope you stay involved because someday some government official is going to need you to tell them how to support agriculture. So I just want to tell you on a personal note, I'm proud that there's nearly 2,000 of you sitting in this room on a Sunday evening, so excited and, and uh, involved in this great organization. I just hope you keep it up. And I hope you rely on uh, city and county and state elected officials to be your support, to be on your team so that you can get job, the, the job done you need to do for America. Thank you very much for being here. I uh, appreciate you all. Mayor Allender, we would like to thank you and the city of Rapid City for your hospitality and hosting our state convention this year. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. Great, thank you very much. South Dakota FFA, please help me in thanking Mayor Allender and the Rap and city of Rapid City one more time. <laughs> also joining us tonight is the National FFA Advisor, Dr. James Woodard. This is his first year in his position. This position allows him the opportunity to return so much or return to the organization that has given us all so much. Please help me in welcoming Dr. James Woodard. South Dakota FFA members, thank you for inviting me to be a part of your state convention and thank your leadership for the opportunity to have the state convention. Can I hear, have a big shout out to uh, Miss Danny uh, Herring and Miss Brianna Fra uh, Fabris and uh, Miss Samantha Olson. They put together a really big, great convention for you and done it in, a, in some extraordinary times. So let's give them a big shout out right now. I also want to give a big shout out to three very special people here. And maybe only one's here and the other two's watching online. Over a century of service to ag education. I'd like to congratulate Mr. Doug Hawk for 43 years of teaching at Phillip. Mike, Mike Brink for 43 years at Hitchcock Tulare. And Mr. Jim Wilson for 33 years at Lennox Sundstrom. Let's give these folks a big round of applause. <laughs> Gentlemen, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for inspiring and guiding young FFA members. And I'm not sure that we can do this at this point, but if we could have the house lights come up for one second, I'd like for every agriculture teacher in this building to stand and continue standing. There we go.
Young people, I made a personal decision in 1982 become, to become an ag teacher. My father-in-law was an ag teacher. My brother-in-law was an ag teacher. My daughter is now an ag teacher. I understand and appreciate the commitment that agriculture teachers make. I personally made a decision in my creating my life mission was to make the difference in the life of a young person to the same degree that my ag teacher made in my life. And that's what these men and women do on a daily basis. And I want to say a big shout out to the ag teachers in South Dakota. And of course, I'd like to congratulate the many FFA members we're preparing to honor at the state convention. A great number of South Dakota FFA members are earning their prestigious state degree shortly. The state degree is a symbol of your commitment and dedication to FFA. It proves you're a leader in your chapter and your state. Earning the state degree shows you've taken your involvement in FFA beyond the chapter level and that you've enjoyed successful, a successful supervised agricultural experience program and you've demonstrated your leadership ability and have completed notable community service. I commend you for achieving this honor and hope that each of you will continue your pursuit to earn the gold standard in FFA, the American FFA degree awarded annually at the National FFA Convention and Expo. So let's give the state degree recipients a big round of applause. <laughs> now, I'd, I'd like to talk about the importance of showing gratitude and paying respect to those who have lifted us all in the past year and in previous times. I think it provides an excellent lesson for how each of you as FFA members can, can find success in your future. First, let me show you a picture. Now, if you're like me, that's probably something you've never seen. And as my son would tell me, why would someone put a turtle on a fence post? Most turtles where I come from don't climb, much less the fence post. But that tells us that our turtle friend had a little help, a little boost from someone else to get that incredible view. And we know if the turtle wants to come down, he'll need some help. There's a lesson there that applies to all of us. The truth is none of us ever get to where we're going without a little boost. For FFA members who have won awards or earned honors, take a moment, an intentional moment, a strategic moment to consider all who have helped you arrive here tonight. Your advisor, your teacher, your parents, your boss, and maybe even your friends. Then think about where you would be if no one ever lent you a helping hand or showed you a path forward. Without those people, we never get an opportunity to be that turtle on the fence post, seeing the world from a whole new view. I encourage you to share your gratitude and appreciation to those who have helped you. Take an intentional moment, a strategic moment to say thank you. And then make sure you pay it forward. As you earn new opportunities and reach new heights, look for ways to help others in their journey by providing tips, advice, wisdom, and stories from your experiences and from what you've learned. I can promise you that you'll find this path rewarding and beneficial as you reach new heights and your opportunities for success for the future. Again, thanks for inviting me to your convention, and I hope to see all of you very soon. Perhaps, perhaps, maybe, 
even at the National FFA Convention and Expo this fall. Thank you. Dr. Woodard, we would like to thank you. <laughs> we would like to thank you for attending our convention and for all that you do for the Association of FFA. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. Thank you. South Dakota FFA, please help me in thanking Dr. Woodard one more time. There's no advisors around. I can take my mask off. Put your mask on. If you don't have your mask on during convention, you can be disqualified. As seniors prepare for the next chapter in their life, the FFA recognizes their hard work and dedication. The South Dakota FFA Foundation recognizes the need for future leaders, and this year, 32 scholarships are being provided to graduating seniors studying fields of agriculture at any higher South Dakota educational institution. Mr. Secretary, will you please read the list of scholarships being awarded tonight and the recipients? The Mary Hansen Memorial Scholarship is for FFA members who are residents of Minnehaha or Lincoln counties, which is where Mary resided. Upon her passing away in 1984, Mary willed a large sum of money to be used towards improving the future leaders in agriculture. Two members from Minnehaha County and two from Lincoln County who are receiving their state degree are chosen for this award. Each recipient receives $750 as a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation to be used towards furthering his or her education in agriculture. This year's recipients of the Mary Hansen Memorial Scholarship are Bruce Van De Stroot, Canton. Ben Laisley, Canton. Kennedy Houghton, Garretson. And Evan Bly, Garretson. Congratulations to our scholarship recipients. Our next scholarship to be awarded this evening are the blue and gold scholarships as a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation. Any graduating senior can apply for one of these $750 scholarships. This year's blue and gold scholarship recipients are Mitchell Vanderwall, Northwestern Area, Anna Mosher, Aberdeen Central, Sage Mortensen, Groton, and Alvina Batten, Miller. Congratulations to our scholarship recipient. The South Dakota FFA is very excited to have Twin Cities Region Northland Ford dealers as a Team Egg Ed Distinguished Star Partner. As a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation, four $500 scholarships will be presented to deserving high school seniors from across the state. This year's recipients are Kaylee Thill, Lennox Sundstrom, <laughs> Shaley Dirk, Newell, Casey Schneider, Doland, and Kelsey Butler, Phillip. Congratulations. CHS Foundation is a four-star partner with the South Dakota FFA. And as a special project, the South Dakota FFA Foundation is awarding four $500 scholarships to deserving seniors from across the state. This year's recipients are Tegan Miller, Webster, J.C. Forbes, Willow Lake. Jenna Even, Parker. And Destry Morris, Miller. Congratulations to our CHS Foundation Scholarship winners. Bayer is a four-star partner with the South Dakota FFA. As a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation, they are awarding four $500 scholarships to deserving seniors from across the state. This year's recipients are Everett Paul, Sunset, 
Sunshine Bible Academy. Jackson Frankenstein, Redfield. Tracy Hedder, Woolsey Wessington. And Kaylee Lauk, McCook Central. Congratulations to our Bayers Scholarship winners. The Washi Egg Business Scholarship is sponsored by Chad and Rhonda Washi as a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation. Chad and Rhonda are SDSU graduates and Sioux Valley FFA alumni members. The two $750 scholarships are for students majoring in egg business and were chosen from the South Dakota FFA scholarship application. This year's recipients are John Perotic, Philip, and Tessa Erdman Groton. Congratulations. The Marsh Scholarship is for students majoring in any field of agriculture at South Dakota Institution and is sponsored by Doug and Clara Marsh as a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation. The recipient of the $500 scholarships were chosen from the South Dakota FFA scholarship application. This year's recipients are Lauren Stiefvater, McCook Central. And Jamie Bergeson, West Central. Congratulations to our Marsh Scholarship winners. The Gary Gray Egg Education Scholarship is sponsored in part by Kelvin and Carol Gray and Nicholas Gray as a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation. Mr. Gary Gray served as a state FFA advisor for 14 years and taught egg education. He served the FFA chapters in Pierre and Miller and was a farm business management instructor. He had a great passion for agriculture education and recruiting teachers. The Gary Gray Egg Education Scholarship is awarded to high school seniors interested in teaching or majoring in agricultural education. This year's recipient of the Gary Gray Egg Ed Scholarship is Paige Learcamp, Rapid City, and Kennedy Safar, Brandon Valley. Congratulations. The Bob Titus Memorial Scholarship is sponsored by Sioux Falls Ford as a special project of the South Dakota FFA Foundation. Mr. Titus was the father of past state officer Jenny Titus Jacobson. The recipient of this $500 scholarship was chosen from the South Dakota FFA scholarship application. And this year's recipient is Brant Marsh Parker. Congratulations, Brant. Wade Lang served as the South Dakota FFA state treasurer from 1991 to 1992. He enjoyed sports, hunting, and fishing, and planned to attend vet school. Wade passed away in a car accident about a year after serving the state association. His dedication and enthusiasm inspired those that knew him. In his memory, the 1991-1992 state officer team funds one $750 scholarship through the South Dakota FFA Foundation each year for someone interested in animal science. This year's recipient of the Wade Lang Memorial Scholarship is Allison Baker, Scotland. Congratulations, Allison. Supporting leadership and education is an important part to past state officer Ashley Wisen from Will Lake. Therefore, she and her husband Jordan are providing a $500 scholarship for a District 2 senior who is outgoing and pursuing further education. This year's District 2 scholarship recipient is Trin Trinity Peterson, Will Lake. Congratulations, Trinity. The Ernie Wingen Memorial Scholarship is for FFA members studying agriculture at South Dakota State University. Ernie was an ag advisor in Hoven, South Dakota, who taught students the value of character, community, and hard work. This scholarship was set up in honor of Ernie by his son, Pat, and former FFA students as a way to share his legacy with current FFA members. The sponsors of this scholarship are Teresa Wingen, an Ernie Wingen Memorial Endowment. One FFA member with preference to Hoven and Potter County receives this $2,000 scholarship each year to be used towards furthering their education in agriculture. 
This year's recipient of the Ernie Wingen Memorial Scholarship is Madison May Weissar Lemon. Congratulations, Madison. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer, forged over decades, built by conquering the unsurmountable, and brought together by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today at a Ford dealership. Discover Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. The next FFA members to be recognized tonight has applied for a position on the next team of state officers in the state of South Dakota. I can remember back to my year when our fellow candidates spent 33 hours on Zoom waiting to be interviewed. Over the past few days, the nominating committee has spent three days interviewing to select the best group of candidates to lead South Dakota in the coming year. Please help me in recognizing this year's state officer candidates. Hi, my name is Alexis Hughes and I am proudly representing the Rapid City FFA chapter. What's up South Dakota FFA? My name is Hadley Seafutter and I am proudly representing the McCook Central FFA chapter. Hi, my name is Jacob Olson and I'm proudly representing the Northwestern Area FFA chapter. Hello everyone, my name is John Peterson, and I am proudly representing the Sturgis FFA chapter. Hi, my name is Jordan Rasmussen, and I am proudly representing the El Sister Hudson FFA chapter. Hello, my name is Kaylee Lauk, and I am proudly representing the McCook Central FFA chapter. Hi, I'm Paige Larkamp, and I am proudly representing the Rapid City FFA chapter. Hi, my name is Sarah Simple, and I proudly represent the Webster Webb Bay FFA chapter. Hi, my name is Tessa Erdman, and I'm proudly representing the Groton FFA chapter. Hi, my name is Trinity Peterson, and I am proudly representing the Willow Lake FFA chapter. Hello, my name is Tyler Laheska, and I'm proudly representing the Kimball FFA chapter. Those members sure are leaving their legacies, but now it is time to give the well-deserved recognition to our FFA members who have worked hard and gone their own way to earn their state FFA degree. This evening, members will receive the honor of the South Dakota FFA state degree. This honor is only given to a select group of FFA members. It's now time to recognize our outstanding members of the FFA. Mr. Secretary, will you please read the name of our sponsors? The Certificates and Charms are sponsored by Todd and Barbara Powell, Barry and Jenny Jacobson, West Central FFA alumni, the Jacobson Group LLC, Rochelle and Eric Dissing, the Dan Streff family, Sandy Osterday, Red River Farm Network, Dakota Diamond Auctions and Equipment, Jeff and Beth Vanderwall, Peterson Livestock, First Premier Bank, Lance and Shirley Howe, Wyatt and Zana DeYoung, Don Wind Dairy Goats, Danny Herring, The Olson Family, Eugene and Stella Nagel, and Brad and Trixie Grill, and Mike Strohshine. Will the officers please take their places for the state degree ceremony? We shall proceed with the degree ceremony. Mr. Secretary, what have you to report concerning candidates eligible for this degree? I am pleased to submit the names of 283 candidates who have been selected by the State Executive Committee to receive the State FFA degree. 
Our Constitution has set up minimal qualifications which must be met before candidates are eligible for election to this degree. Madam Advisor, have you carefully examined and reviewed the records of those candidates? I have, Madam President, and I found all candidates fully qualified. We shall proceed to raise these members to the state FFA degree. Will the candidates please rise? The state FFA degree is the highest degree our state association can bestow. Some of you will one day earn the coveted golden key of the American FFA degree. We urge you to maintain throughout your adult lives the same enthusiasm and dedication that you bring to this ceremony today. It is a great honor to be nominated for the state degree. It is still a greater honor to be selected for this degree by your fellow members of the South Dakota FFA Association. Your new achievement brings you greater honors as well as additional responsibilities. You have widened the field of your service and influence in the strengthening of agriculture, the most basic industry of our nation. You have been urged toward higher degrees in the FFA. We commend you on your accomplishments and would press you toward high, new and higher goals in our organization and in your chosen occupation. In meeting the requirements of the Green Hand and Chapter FFA degrees, you were told that the golden charm of the state FFA degree would be awaiting you. The bronze emblem of the Green Hand degree gave way to the silver emblem of the state FFA, of the Chapter FFA degree, which now has evolved into the golden charm. This is symbolic of growth and development in your chosen occupation. May the permanence of the rare and golden qualities be a constant reminder to you of the strength of your education and the worthiness of your achievements. Therefore, on behalf of the South Dakota FFA Association, I confer upon you the state FFA degree with its honors and privileges and present to you this charm, the emblem of the degree. Congratulations. Well, chapter receiving their state degree, beginning with letters M through Z, please report backstage. Today, across thousands of miles of an ever-changing landscape, from the fertile soils of mid-America and the wide open expanse of the Great Plains to the beautiful rangelands of the American West, 60,000 people share a common dedication to producing food and an uncommon lender to help them achieve it. This is Farm Credit Services of America. Farmers, livestock operators, dairy producers, agribusiness, operations of every kind and size, people of every age and experience, living on the most productive soils in the world, and some of the most challenging. One of many generations, the first of a new generation, 60,000 people working to build success, feeding a changing world, working to feed their own. Agriculture is a business of relationships, understanding, and trust, with hardworking people who accept risk and embrace their independence, people with different plans and goals and passion for what they do who choose to do business with us because of our dedication, our values, and passion for what we do. We work where our customers work and when they work, serving financial needs, managing financial risk, with services that save time, ideas that save money, and an expertise like no other. 
We develop innovative products that make working with us easier and faster. Protecting incomes, growing business, adding value. And along the way, as we work to build each customer's success, we build relationships, trust, and loyalty. Agriculture is like no other business, which is why Farm Credit Services of America is like no other lender. Built for agriculture, financially strong with a capacity to grow, we can stand by producers when times are troubled, help them grow when the time is right, and see the future through their eyes. This is the vision of a lender owned by the customers it serves who have a voice in how we work, a stake in what we do, and who share in our success. We do what's right for those we serve, because financing rural America isn't just part of our business, it's our only business. We finance land and equipment, help producers grow crops and livestock, and finance plants and facilities that create markets for them. We protect incomes and livelihoods, help families live their dreams, and work for the future of agriculture. Every day, we look for new ways for serving, sharing, and achieving, for changing, building, and leading, to be agriculture's most valued financial partner. No other lender is more dedicated to financing agriculture or as committed to giving back to it. This is who we serve. This is why we're here. A common bond through our love of the land and a caring for those who live on it. is Farm Credit Services of America. Caitlin Harris. Jesse Schroeder. Chester. Bailey Conce. Lake Preston. Alex Post. Gunnar Larson. Bridgewater Emery, Brock Hofer. Mara Hofer. Sarah Hofer. Morgan Trevine. Johanna Tusha. Brandon Jansen. Brooks Jansen. Hunter up to graft. Riley Schultz. Parkston, Logan Heidinger. Hoven, Kendra Kaiser. Connor Kalb. Courtney Kruger. Alex Sire. April Simon. Jackson Spindler. 
Lincoln Stewie. Dylan Talks. Bon Home. Cassidy Soakup. Lacey Whitmire. Sawyer Godin. Caleb Kubal. Arlington. Jenica Weiss. Dubrook. Sage Kopachek. Brandon Valley. Kayla Jacobson. Huron. Brooklyn Botel. Leah Pyle. Ellie Hoops. Bree Ghosts. Dancy Dunkelberger. Freeman. Madison Hofer. Centerville. Lane Hansen. Kimball. Tyler Laheska. Harrisburg, Braxton Bohr. Ben Luce. Danessa Wilson. Alexis Kraft. Madison Stuckey. Dismit. Coden John Elkins. Kane Christopher Gilligan. Brookings, Lynn Foster. Cody Larson. Emma Postma. Tyler Rasmussen. Morgan White. Howard. Abigail Connor. William Lloyd Rents. Briar Feldhaus. Beersford. Becca Tiedemann. Cam Spiegan. Laura Bogue. Gaden Johnson. Gabe Traxler. Chamberlain. Buster Reese. River Picard. Alcester Hudson. Jordan Rasmussen. Alex Winquist. Tristan Van Wick. Scotland. Annabelle Lavach. Jaden Cass. Clark. Erica Dale. Hudson Fuller. Jenna Gaddis. Sisseton. Hannah Goodhart. Lennox Sundstrom, Kaylee Phil, Megan Leffers, Blake 
Gibney. Doland. Casey Schneider. Tiana Cheddar. Canton. Marshall Minahan. Bruce Van Destroot. Garrettson. Evan Bly. Caden Bundy. James Nussbaum. Kenzie Hensler. Kennedy Houghton. Groton. Tessa Erdman. Chandler Larson. Trey Yernicke. Caleb Fernie. Cannon Coates. Sage Mortensen. Samantha Pappas. Miller. Alvina Batten. Corey Riesel. Destry Morris. Redfield. Brandon Atkin. Jackson Frankenstein. Ivan Bloom. Montrose, Maggie Miles. Webster Wabe, Brianna Dury. Andrew Johnson. Sarah Sipple. Lemon, Cody Thompson. Lauren Weissar. Tate Cohn. Madison Weissar. James Klein. Tally Caddis. Alexis Johnson. Jacob Hetzel. Will Stevens. Willow Lake. Trinity Joe Peterson. Morgan Kennedy Burke. JC Renee Forbes. Shayla Jane Fig. Sam Braden Hovde. Aaron Andrew Poppin. Madison Truman Stoller. Riley Paul Ruring. Allie Marie Kapperman. Colby Briggs. Casey Meadows. Newell. Chase Dirk. Shaley Dirk. Menno. 
Brady Fergan. Kyle Kyrus. McCook Central, Abby Blake. Dakota Buck. Kyle DeBoer. Avery Fetrell. Sophia Kafar. Robert Kepsel. Kaylee Lauk. Maddie Lunders. Corbin Montreal. Kane Muth. Paige Peterson. Jordan Shock. Lauren Stiefvater. Griffin Stuffle. Madison Stroud. Jacob Wagner. Jaden Wobig. Riley Wirtz. Mitchell. Logan Tlam. Northwestern area. Mitchell Vanderwall. Haley Stuck. Elena Schmidt. Alexis Ram. Kiara Stuck. Jackson Milky. Jacob Olson. Wall. Lily Anna Wagner. Jenna Elsher. Philip. Kelsey Butler. John Protick. Jaden Collar. Cody Donnelly. Bobby Kammer. Jasmine Hyatt. Cedar Gabriel. Hudson Johnson. Jesse Hostetler. Kelton Quinn. Taylor Hansen. Riley Schofield. Brett Daly. Noah Johnson. Rapid City, Paige Learcamp. Haley Wurzer. Alexis Hughes. Winner, Teresa Taylor. Sturgis, Haley Ferguson. John Peterson. Parker, Bailey Coleman. Brianne Cornell. Grace DeWald. 
Jeff Dunkelberger. Jenna Even. Josie Geis. Ellie Hansen. Shelby Lang. Brant Marsh. Jace Yolrich. Michael Larson, Sioux Valley. Jackson Koima. Ty Mosher. Chloe Vanderweird. Emily Hannah Owen. Gabriel Papernick. Wilmont. Nathaniel Meyer. Wilsey Westington. Jordan Boomsma. Lane Olson. Tatum Carey. Jaden Much. Ethan Nelson. Trace Hader Herman. Tommy Lloyd. Rage Kerjellerson. Platt Geddes. Alexis Bolchi. Hudson Ringling. Miles Cott. Kara Johnson. Sadie Rasmussen. Emily Mullenberg. Westington Springs, Brock Stevens. Dylan Schmink Schimke. Lane Olinger. Tyler Fastnot. Cooper Haney. Nalia Dunsmore. Kenzie Schaefer. Sanborn Central Wound Socket. Harley Keen. Morgan Schmidt. Cassidy Skylas. Xavier Basinger. West Central, Jamie Bergeson. Kiara Grace Ebinga. Kean McMillan. Luke Nichols. Noah Pressler. Kenny Vakrat. Millbank. Chris Peary. Cameron Finney. Jessica Polotsky. Eric Van Sambeek. Rutland, Colton Amos Wicks. Tri Valley, Nathan Hargreaves. Jamie Eliason. 
Braden Wicks. Viberg Hurley. Cassandra Knudsen. Ty Van Hall. Congratulations to all of our state degree recipients. Guys, senior year has been flying by. I have no idea what I want to do next year. Well, I'm pretty interested in engineering, and I, there's, and I know there's a lot of opportunities in that field, but I don't know which one of them I'm interested in. Yeah, I like egg ed, but like, I don't know where to go with that. I know I've always been interested in like business and finance, as well as agriculture. Guys, why don't we just check out the career fair and see what they have to say? That's that a really a good, good idea. idea. Let's go check that Let's out. Let's go. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the career carnival. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. How are you guys? Good. What are you guys interested in here? I have no idea. Well, I'm interested in the engineering field. I like egg ed. And I want to do something with agriculture and finance. Well, you guys came to the right place. There's so many people here that can help you find what you're interested in. Come to the Career Carnival at the North Corridor of the Kerstad Events Center from 9 to 3. Tonight, we were able to recognize those members receiving their state degrees, scholarships, and those members running for state office. They went our way to forge their legacy. Please help me in congratulating those members on their FFA careers. Mr. Secretary, do you have a record of any further business which should now be transacted? I have a few announcements, Madam President. Session starts tomorrow at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. CDE start tomorrow at morning in the Kerstad Event Center at 8 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. in the Western Dakota Tech. The Day of Service Project and the Career Carnival is going on in the North Corridor of the Kerstad Event Center, so right here from 9 to 3. And a friendly reminder to continue wearing your mask while in session and while competing. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business which will properly come before this session? We are about to adjourn the state degree ceremony of the 93rd South Dakota FFA State Convention. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. FFA members and guests, join me in a salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I now declare this session adjourned.